Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now it seems like you guys are really liking the clan tutorial series, so I'm just going to stick with it until it dies out. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a clan logo on your phone. Now I made one on how to make them on PC earlier, so check that video out if you want. But this video is strictly mobile because I got some comments recommending that I make one on mobile because I guess not everyone has access to a PC to make one. Or just the software's more complicated is basically it. Now by no means are these logos anything intricate they're really just simple like basic logos and you can really do whatever you want with what i teach you in this video you don't have to make the logos exactly like i say you just kind of have to go based on uh, what you see and kind of you can be creative with it so without further ado let's get into the video Okay, to start off, you want to get PixArt from the App Store, then open up a browser and search up 1080 by 1080 Then you pick any square photo, it doesn't matter what it looks like, this is just a reference, and add it to your photos. Then you look up silver uh, circle PNG, obviously, and you save that specific one. Then you want to search up the Fortnite skin you want and make sure it's a PNG with a transparent background and then save it. And, then fi and finally, get your Fortnite background and save that as well. Then you go into PixArt and you want to open up that square image that we saved and you want to add on top that background over it and then basically you're going to stretch it to fill and then you want to crop it basically so it fits. I'm kind of just fidgeting with it a little bit to see what works the best. And yeah, see how I pull in the corners and pull in the sides and then yeah, there you go. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to kind of make it rough and then it will zoom back in. Now this is when you add the silver circle. Find a different one if the background is white, but you want to resize it so it's about in the middle of the screen. Then add in your skin and place it around in the middle and make it a decent size. And this is the important part. You want to click, oh sorry, I, I messed up in the video, but once you have it in place, you want to click the eraser tool and you want to erase the legs and up until where the circle starts because you want it to look like it went behind the circle. So you see how I, I just erase up until that little edge and it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look somewhat good. So then when you zoom out, you can see obviously it looks like it's behind. Then that's when you add the text. I just picked the random word spork because I was bored and I didn't really know what to put. But you can put whatever your name is. And then you can add whatever text effects you want. I added a gradient. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory if you know how to use the software. It's literally just an app. It's pretty simple. You just click you know, text and then gradient. And then I added a stroke, um, a text stroke that's white. And I was just playing around with the settings to see what I liked and then I spread apart the distance between the letters uh, You can just pause the video wherever you need to if I'm going too fast Now this is the fun part. I added some blue lens flares on the eyes um, Made them smaller and put them on the eyes. You can this is an optional step You don't really have to do this. It's just kind of a fun thing to add to it And I'm just trying to hear here. You can see I'm just kind of fidgeting with it and then I added one more and put this one over the other eye and as you can see, I'm just trying to get it in the right spot. And that's about good, I think. Or maybe I move it a little bit, I'm not sure. But yeah, so then this is a part that you can add. You can add, if you go in effects, you can add a hue and then you can change the colors of the, of the whole thing. So I just pick that random orange color and then I download the image. And then that's literally all you have to do for that one. You can pause the video wherever you need to and comment any questions. Okay, so now for the letter logo. So you can pick up whatever ba background you want, really. I picked a square background, you probably should too. And then you want to get the app Fonto, which is completely free. And then you want to follow the video and basically do exactly what I do in the video and it'll bring you to a white background. Then you want to add this grunge background over top and make the size so it covers it completely. And there we go. Then you want to add text with whatever letter you want and I chose an N and then you want to click font and then it will let you choose between different fonts and you can basically just look through and sort through them and find one you want. Fonto has like so many fonts it's crazy I mean that's where they get their name so I'm just right now I find this font that I like and I make it super big by changing the size and yeah so then I go into style and I believe I change the stroke I, I might or I might add like a purple stroke I believe or first I add a drop shadow, but yeah, so you just basically just follow everything I'm doing in the video. It's it's hard to keep up because I sped up the video so that you guys could not sit through an hour long thing. But yeah, just follow the steps that I'm doing in the video. I'm adding a stroke, I added a drop shadow, and then you want to just place it in the middle. 
and honestly it already looks really good I mean you don't have to do anything that I'm doing you can do whatever you want and experiment um, and then I kind of just add some extra pop I looked up some clouds um, I looked up cloud PNG so that they have transparent backgrounds I found this one it has a transparent background I added it to photos and then I import it by clicking those three dots and then importing it and so now I'm gonna make it bigger and place it behind there I believe I rotate it um, a little bit I was actually planning on putting it over the end but you need to actually place like the ones that you want first in front so I couldn't really put it in front anymore because I already made the end so I just put it behind and then I go in and once I position it everywhere where I like it I go and I believe I add another cloud and you know rotate it the other way so it's kind of like a, a, a little X sort of shape type, type of thing you guys will see but yeah um, this doesn't even look the best it's kind of just like for fun I just kind of was bored and I just added some cloud effects in the back you can add whatever you want lens flares you know whatever look up Google images for overlays anything really and then you basically have that and you're basically done but you can add whatever you want you can change the text color you can change the background color you can change the stroke you can add an underline you can you know change the effect of the text obviously I wouldn't do that because it'll just mess it up but you know you can change I here I went in and edited the drop shadow a bit and I may have edited the stroke I'm not sure but yeah I edited the pattern I mean you can do you guys can truly do whatever you want and that's really all there is to it just before the video ends I want to ask you guys to please like and subscribe if this was helpful and you know comment down any questions and also very important comment down below if you have any suggestions for the next video because if this video gets 300 likes yep that's the number 300 then I'm gonna be dropping the next clan tutorial video so make sure we get there and as always you know I appreciate everyone's support and yeah like comments likes subscriptions everything means so much to me I'm trying to hit 20k by the end of the summer so let's see if we can do that it's right now it's gonna be a little tough looking at the projected analytics but I think we can do it if we really put in the time so if you guys could really just you know smash the like it's really quick you just press that button um, it'll mean the world to me alright thanks guys have a great day